Custard or flan, come on into Jenny's world. Use in just a few ingredients to put this delightful dessert together. Come on in. Let's get this. Yeah, I have two tablespoons full of brown sugar that I just wanted to melt really nicely. You don't need to add water, but I'm adding half a teaspoon full of water in there and let that melt really nicely to make a caramel. So this looks marvelous. So let's pour all of this now into our dish. Beautiful. I like a lot of this when I make mine. And now we're just going to coat that dish in the bottom. Just put it all around. There you go. You seen me there, foodies? Just coat and coat and coat and coat all where you can get it coat. Hey, you. That was a little tricky, but we got it. So now let this cool. in my magic bullet. I'm going to add two eggs. I have here two medium eggs. In goes that. Here I have some lemon, DoTerra oil. I'm going to add a little one drop perfect in here we have nutmeg ginger and cardamom powder in goes that and I have here one cup and quarter milk you could use evaporated milk that looks lovely simple and easy do it lovely quick and easy recipe here great dessert for when your friends come by and just average like two tablespoonful of sweetened condensed milk and let's put a, a few drops of almond essence. There you go. There you Perfect. Go. Lid on. Give it a good squeeze. Allow puree. So there you go. All pureed. Get your strainer and let's slowly pour all that goodness into that prepared dish. Okay. So now, foodies, we want to cover this because you do not want that drip water to go into it. So put a piece of paper towel and double fold your piece of pull out foil paper and give that a nice tight. Now this looks perfect in here. You see you have the water in the bottom on the rack. So there you go foodies. It's on steam 27 minutes and it's on high temperature. So let it get all steam up now. Okay, so it is all done. So let's put it in here. And now we're going to put this into the refrigerator for one hour. And then we're going to take a look and see how this lovely custard okay, So up. here it is my dear foodies. I had it in the refrigerator actually for overnight. So let's open it up now. So this is that paper, the foil paper, and this looks marvelous. So let's open up the sides. All around. It's very cheesy texture here that you will get. Yeah, there you go. And now what we're going to do. So now, my dear foodies, let's take a look and see what it looks like. We're going to take that lid and rest it over it. We're going to hold it and a generous and quickly flip. There you go. Give it a little pat. Now take a look at that. All the syrup is leaking up already, so we know it's out. And there you go. Look at that beauty. Isn't that beautiful? And I love a lot of syrup. So when I slice my flan or my custard or whatever you're going to call yours, you're going to have all that lovely liquid there beautiful so now let's cut into it i can't wait this is so soft and jelly look at that goodness let me flip this look at that goodness look at those bubbles look at those air pockets in the bottom over there isn't that beautiful lovely flan here from jenny's walk with all the caramel flavors just infused into it Take a look at the slice piece, my dear foodies. Creamy goodness. I want to try this. Let's take a closer look at it. Look at that. Divine. This is the air pockets I was talking to you about, foodies. Take a look at that. Let me try it. Mmm. Very creamy. Very creamy, silky, a tofu type texture. With just all those lovely flavors traveling in your mouth with that caramel taste but it is not sweet at all lovely the dessert here from jenny's walk quick and easy few ingredients put it together here for your friends flan or custard from jenny's walk from my kitchen to your kitchen happy cooking